DaVinci Resolve is so far the best editing software for both Mac, PC and Linux computers. So in this tutorial, I'm going to run through everything you need to know about editing in DaVinci, key features and tons of video editing tips to make you edit like a pro in no time. My name is Sam Dolberg from Film Editing Plus and I'm also a certified DaVinci trainer. If you are new here, make sure to click the subscribe button right now. This video will also fast track your editing skills with Resolve whether you are new to DaVinci or currently a DaVinci user. Right now, let's jump into DaVinci. Obviously, in order to start editing, you need to go to Blackmagic website and download the free version of DaVinci Resolve and currently it's 18.5. There's also a paid version, but we can always do everything we want with the free version. So once you click on the software, this is what you see. So these folders here are some other projects which I've been working on. If you're here new, you're going to see this on title project. So it's either I go through on title project or I click on new project and it's going to open this for me. This tells me to name my new project. Okay. So once you put in a name there and you click on create, it's going to take you to the next page of DaVinci. You can also do it by clicking the open. Once you click the open, it will also take you to the same place as well as if you click the untitled project. So let's just click open and voila, this is where um, DaVinci brings us to. So before we go inside, DaVinci has different pages. The first one is the media page. This is where you import your footage in folders, you know, in order to start editing in the editing tab. And the next one is the cut page. After the cut page, you've got the editing page where the main edit takes place. And then after that, you've got your fusion page. If you want to create some effect, this is where you do it. And you have the color page. This is where you give your video a look. Okay. And then you've got the fair light. This is where you edit your audio, you know, just like logic. <laughs> yeah. And then the lever page. This is where you export your project once you are done editing grading. All right, so let's go back to the first one, which is the media page. So like I said, this is where you import um, your footage. So before we import our footage, we need to set up our project. And that you can do when you come here to this wheel here. When you click this, it opens a different page. Here you can see master settings, image scaling, color management, general options, camera raw, capture and playback, subtitles, fair light, path mapping. But we are more interested in the master setting as beginners. So you don't need to change everything, but I'm just going to show you the basic thing which you change and will work for you. So the first thing is the timeline resolution. As you can see here, I've got 1920 by 1080 HD, which is a full HD, which we edit most videos in anyway. But if you click it, you can see the drop down menu. There's a lot of option here. So it depends on the resolution which you want to edit with. You put it there. But I'll be doing mine in full HD, which is 1920 by 1080p. And here you've got an option here, use vertical resolution. So DaVinci being a software that updates itself with the current trend, it gives you an option to edit um, your video as in vertical mode, which is like the Instagram type of um, video. So if you click it, it comes in vertical mode. But if you don't click it, it comes in um, the normal um, horizontal way a normal video should look like. And then the next thing you want to change is the timeline frame rate. Okay. So most times you edit um, in 24 frames per second, in 25 frames per second, in 30 frames per second. So it all depends on the um, information, how you shot your footage. But to, for this lesson, I'm going to leave it in 24 frames per second. Your playback frame rate, which you can see here, definitely needs to be the same as your timeline frame rates okay and here you've got your video format when you click the drop down menu you're gonna see a lot of options there so you want your video format to also match with your timeline frame rate so we leave it there at 1080p um 24. um i think that's the basic thing you need to know as a beginner every other thing just leave it at default as it is and once you're done with that you just click save okay but I'm not going to click save for now. <laughs> all right. So back to the media page. So, all right. So we'll start up in the media page. 
this is how the media page looks like so i already did a comprehensive tutorial about how to import footage into the media page so i strongly advise you go check out that video the link will be put in the description below so that you can easily locate it so here in the media page you can right click here and add location what this does is that you are able to add the location where your media file is being stored for easy access okay but i've already gotten that done here so i've got my stuff on the desktop so i'm just going to click the desktop and it opens this and then here is where my footage are stored so two ways i can choose to drag in this whole folder in here or i can double click it and open it and then i highlight the whole folder this is the drag and drop i can just do this and it comes in and once you do that davinci gives you this column here change project frame rate it says the selected clips have a different frame rate to the project would you like to change your timeline frame rate to match you can't undo this action so what this simply means is that davinci has detected the frame rate which is your footage is so it's telling you that should it adjust to the clip frame rate or you want it to be at default so definitely we want it to change so we say change and then everything comes in here okay so everything you put in this section of davinci automatically you will see it in the edit tab of davinci and that's one of the ways you import your footage so since we've done this some people always want to start editing here on the cut page but it's more easier and preferred to edit on the edit page so when we come to the edit page this is what we have here so you can see in your media pool in your media pool we've got all the footage which we dragged in and this section here is your timeline section so an easy way to bring your footage into the timeline to start editing is to do the drag and drop so if I just highlight any of my footage like this, I drag it and I put it here. Now you can see, you can see I've got my footage here on the timeline. So the top one is the video and the lower one is the audio. Okay. And here you've got your preview monitor. Here you've got your program monitor. What the preview shows you is when I come here and click, it, I can preview the clip before I actually um, put it on my timeline, you see. So it's playing here, but it's not playing here. What plays here, it's only what is on my timeline. So how do you cut your footage in DaVinci? So if we've got this, this is what um, we are editing. So let's, um, let's actually put multiple footage onto our timeline. If I want to cut this footage now, let's say this is too long. Now, one of the ways I can cut is to put my cursor here. You can see immediately I bring it here, it changes. So if I click this, I can drag it back and it creates a space here. When I click this, I have this highlight here and I do the backspace and it closes up. So that is one way you can cut your clip. Another way you can do that is using the shortcut key. So let's say I want to cut my footage here now you press b on your keyboard and it changes to the blade mode and you click it on where you want to cut once you are done you click a okay a brings you back to the arrow key and then this is what i want to take off i highlight it i click it and i click the delete button and then like we did the first time you click this space and then you click the back it closes up so you see your footage um, is smooth and you cut it nicely another way which you can cut your footage is to use the ripple edit so let's say um i want to cut my footage let me look for a sweet spot right here so what i do now is to use the command shift and the bracket either bracket forward or bracket back so I use the command shift back and you see what happens. So it cuts the footage and closes the space automatically. So we can try that again. If we want to cut our stuff here, you put the command shift and the bracket um, icon there on your computer. 
so that um, cuts your footage and closes the gap so those are different ways which you can cut um, your footage another thing which is important to also know um, in your edit is how to link and unlink your audio to your video so if i click this video clip you can see it's linked to the audio which means if i move it it goes together but i can unlink this when you come here this icon here it's actually the link and the link selection icon so if i click it it automatically means that i have unlinked this so you can see now the audio is separate from the video and if i want to link it together i highlight it and i click on the link button and the link together again so this knob here helps you to link or unlink your clip together if you want to bring in b-roll shots let's say you want to bring up you want to bring in different shots into this um, timeline so let's um, say we want to bring this so we double click it we see it on the preview monitor and then we play we're going to look for a fine spot in order to select a particular portion of this clip to put on your timeline you're going to use the in and out button which is the i and o on your keypad so when i play i click the in now you see what happens here and then i do the o so you can see this is the in and this is the out this is the section i want to use in this video so now when i come here and i drag it down so that section is what comes into my timeline as you can see you can see on my preview monitor here okay so another thing which i would want to show you is um, how to bring in only video or only the audio of your of your edit so if i use the same um, video here as you can see when i hover my mouse around it when you see this this means video this is the audio right so which means this clip has got an audio attached to it so now when i play you can hear the audio along with it so let's say i use my in and out point like i showed you i for in and o for out and i only want to bring in the video clip i don't want the audio for it so what happens is i'm going to bring my mouse and i'm going to bring it here to the video icon here and then i'm going to drag the video icon onto my timeline as you can see it only came with the video the audio didn't come the same way if i only want the audio i'm going to come here to the audio icon and i drag in the audio alone and bring it under to the audio part so you can see now if i play this you're going to hear the audio on a different video see the same way the video itself plays without the audio so that is how you separate your audio from your video while you are editing this is your different type of zoom in davinci if you want to zoom into a particular clip when you use this here it zooms into that particular clip when you come here this shows you the whole um, full extent zoom of your timeline and when you have here it shows you a particular portion where your um, cursor line is in your editing um, timeline another thing which um, you can do is if you put your um, eye, your mouse here and you want to zoom into this you can always use the option and your and the scroll wheel on your mouse you see it zooms it so you can see it you can use that to zoom in and out yeah pressing the option button on your keyboard and then use your scroll wheel on your mouse all right so that is how you perform basic editing on your edit page another thing if you want to fade in your video or fade out your video it's very easy once you bring your mouse to your video clip like this you're going to see this white you see when i take it out there is no way but when i bring it you see this white icon here you see this white icon here you take it and you click it and you slide it back once you do that you are putting in a fade 
and your, it shows your time 19 seconds 20 seconds 16 15 seconds so this means fade out and when i put it at the beginning of the video it means that i am fading in the video the same thing i do to the video i can do to the audio can do that fade it in and also go to the end and fade it out now when i play it you can see how it comes in you see and look at how it's gonna fade out also okay so that's how you fade in and out your video clip and also if you want to view your timeline in a different way this is where you come with the option it gives you different way video view option okay so here you can see it shows you the the video clip all through um, on the timeline if you use this option it only shows you at the beginning right at the beginning and then in between is just a blank colored um, bar and then this one the picture is totally out so it's left for your preference whichever one that works for you but for me I always prefer to see my video content all through okay same thing with the audio so you have different options of viewing your audio so left um, to your preference and this controls the height you know if you want to look at it properly and likewise the audio also so all this is left um, to your preference and how you want it to be okay now so let's look at how to add titles to our videos let's assume you finish editing your video and now you want to give it a name so you add titles by coming to the effect um, page effect so you add titles by coming to the if effect part here and when you come you can see different things toolbox video transition audio transition titles generator there's tons of things here so what we need is in titles right so we come in here into titles when you click it you see a ton of titles here now you can also change your view here if you don't need the preview view this here once you click it it shows you your program also which i think is what we'll actually need so we can since we're done with our cut so here there are different titles in davinci so all you need to do is to look for the one that suits um what you want to do but i'm just gonna take um one basic one here um let me look for a simple lower third so if i take this one so once you even when you hover around it it already shows you what it does so if i just pick one all you need to do is to drag it to the position where you want it to be so i want mine to be here now when i play back on that you can see what it gives me it shows there so it's written simple text by default you can always edit this by clicking it once you click it you come to the inspector tab this inspector tab here when you click it it opens this um, fresh column where you can actually edit your lower third so here you can see title settings so we want to start with titles here simple text we highlight this and i give it um, a name uh, what name do i give my speaker let's say let's call him um rob robinson okay let's say it's robinson all right so i put robinson there here i can change my font to whatever suits um my need okay so i'm just gonna leave it here on apple symbol okay um regular if your font i've got bold italics you can choose that there here you can change the color of your font when you click it it opens a color tab here and then you can use this um pen tool here picker tool here to choose any color you want from anywhere so if you're come if you're editing something for a company that has got a color so you can use this to pick a color so that it matches um it matches the look and feel of the whole video as you can see so um, once you choose once you choose whatever color you want to go for then you just click ok and it remains that color as you can see size you can change the size of the lower third um, tracking is you can see what tracking does so all these are just setting you look for what suits um, your need in your edits and you flow with it and then in setting this is where the zoom is where you can this is what the zoom does 
you know position when you want to move the position horizontally or horizontally or vertically you can do that this here is where you control your keyframes right you can bring in keyframes into um, whatever you're doing and when you click this this means you're putting it back to its default setting when i click it i put it back on its default setting so rotation is when you want to rotate it you can see and then i put it back to its default setting okay so all this you just need to try this and actually see what it does so you can um, understand how to use it even um, it also works on video also for example if i click my video and i'm still on inspector now if i use the zoom look at what it does to my video clip you see it zooms my video clip in and out and then when i click this button it goes back to its default position the same thing with position when i do it it drags it left or right or when i do the y axis it goes up or down and when i do this it goes back to its default position rotation i rotate my video to whatever or however i want it to be and once i'm done i can put it back if i'm not happy with it i can put it back to its default position so everything here you can see what it does so it's for you to actually experiment with it but all this effect you actually don't want to overuse them you want to use them appropriately <laughs> okay overusing effect is always a sign of um amateur in editing anyway <laughs> all right so and your crop in here this actually crops your video you see left and right so if you want to reframe it you see left and right i can do that and maybe i want to add something else here it all depends on what i want top and bottom i can crop it okay and then i can put soften the edge you know so it, all this depends on the look which um you are going for at the end of the day um with your video so i advise you just try out all this effect so that you know what um they all do um to your video so now let's talk a little bit about the audio you've got your audio and when you play your audio let's say you want to work a little bit on your audio maybe it's not loud enough or it's too low or some um, portions you need to cut out that's very easy to do so what you need to do is to come to the mixer knob here even though there is a dedicated page for editing audio which is the fairlight page but we're gonna go there in a bit so you can come here to mixer right and once you click it it opens um, a little mixer on the side where you can mix um, your stuff when i play you can see here i can control my volume okay increase it or reduce it you can do a lot of things here okay so i want to bring in extra audio into my footage okay so let's let me add this to um the next um let me add this to the bottom here and immediately i do that it adds another an extra um, channel here to my mixer so you can see what happens if you look at my mixer and then it moves into the music now so when you see it hitting red you know that your stuff is distorting so you don't want it to hit red so you want to be somewhere around here which is a safe space okay you want to be somewhere on the yellow above the yellow if not the green which is a safe space so here you can also do your volume control you see you can control your volume here you can if you want to pan your volume to the left or to the right side you can do that here if you want to take it back to default you can do that here so here you can do a lot um, with your audio right you can eq your audio do a lot of things when you activate this it gives you an eq so you can actually eq your e um, your audio so most times you can always do a lot of things with your audio right from the edit page but when it comes to complicated things which you want to do with your audio that is where you come to the fairlight page to do a proper mixing another thing which i want to show you in your audio is if you want to add keyframe to your audio it's very simple to add keyframe so um if we come here so to add keyframe this is our so we can come here and click this 
so once you do this you see what it puts there it puts uh, a little orange dot there right and then you can come forward a little and click it again it puts another one right now you can come forward again you put another one come forward you put another one and this is why we have four so here now i can drag from here up right so what i just did now it's more like adding a fade in and fade out to my audio and when i play this you're going to see what it does to my audio you see how it increases and then when it gets to the end part it goes down again so this is one easy way which you can keyframe your volume you can automate your volume in order to suit your editing need okay i'm not going to do anything on the fairlight page because um, this is a whole tutorial on its own right and um, when you come to the color page this is where you want to give your video a look so this is not a color grading video so i'm not going to I'm not going to spend too much time here. I'm just going to run through the basic um, setting here. So here you can see you've got your lift, your gamma, your gain, your offset. Your lift is your shadows. Your gamma is your midpoint. Your gain is your highlight and your offset affects overall. Here you can see this is your parade. You've got parade. Uh, you've got the option of viewing as waveform. You've got um, option of viewing vector scope. You've got option histogram. And you've got the CIE um, there. So if we keep it on um, parade, this is our shadows, this is our highlight. So oftentimes you don't want your stuff to hit zero because when it hits zero, it means you've lost detail in the shadow. And when it hits 100, it means you've overexposed your shot. So which means you've lost details. Here you can see that it's it's not touching zero right it's almost at zero but it's not touching zero which is a very good point point. and if you look at our highlight here it's actually not clipping right it's somewhere um, between um, around 95 there about which is um, a very good space to be but if i use the lift um, knob look at what it does now you see what it does to your parade you see how it lifts everything up even your footage it's brightening it up and then when I turn it the opposite direction now it's clips because it has gone beyond below um, zero so I can set it back to default by using this um, knob here I click it it goes back to default uh, when I do the gain you see what happens look at what happens to the highlight you see now it's clipping it's overexposed and then when I put it the um, opposite direction now it's way underexposed I can restore it back to the original value and this here is the mid tone here the midpoint you see what it does it stretches the mid tone value and then i can put it back to where it was before temperature here is when you are controlling your temperature it can either be cool or warm and you can also use this to do um to fix your white balance issues also so what it does when i double click it outside it goes back to its um, original value the tint also works hand in hand when you use the your contrast and your pivot setting but this is a node here in davinci and davinci uses node so if you right click this you can come to um, add node and then you add um, serial you know it adds another node you can repeat the process and add another serial or an, a shortcut for it is to use option s when you click option s it does the same thing and adds um, series of nodes this is not uh, a color grading tutorial so let's say you finish color grading your um, video now and you come here to the fairlight um, chapter of da vinci here you can do proper thing input here here you can bring in effect whichever effect you want to bring in right so if you click um, here the plus sign it gives you numerous um, options of tons of effect which you can add to your um, to your edit you know so once you're done um, with mixing your sound properly balancing the levels you know you balance the levels of your audio make sure it doesn't hit red you don't want it to clip so let's say you are done the good thing about fairlight is you're gonna it you have the video here so you see the video and the audio 
and you can always detach it you see so you can move it to wherever you want it to be so you can see more information if you're using um, a dual screen you can always extend this to the other screen and you have a proper view for your edit so once you're done with this now you come to the deliver page let's try and export um, what we've done so davinci has done a good work by giving us presets youtube vimeo twitter dropbox Gen generic final cut premiere pro xml audio art only avid aff pro tools you know davinci has done a lot okay so you start by file name you click it and you name your file so if we give it testing and then location is where you want your file to go so i want mine to go on desktop so i click on desktop you know and i click save i click save and then after then you come here format what format do you want it to be by default is always on quicktime so you decide which one so quicktime mp4 whatever it is depending on where your project is going to codec the by default um, is on h.264 you want to leave that there davinci fixes every other thing for you so you don't need to stress yourself to with any of the setting you just put the name and the location where you want it to go and also change your format if you want to and davinci um fixes the other things for you so i'm not going to render everything here so i just want to render a portion of my edit which is this um, interview section and it ends here so i've got this so i've used my in point and then when i come here i put my out point so this part this means that this is the only section of this video which i am rendering this part i am not rendering so once you've gotten that you click on add to render queue add to render queue once you click on it then it comes to this side of the page job one it's in the queue so you come here to render all and then when you click on render all DaVinci starts to export your footage and boom DaVinci is done exporting my footage now when I go on my desktop when I go on my desktop you can see my video there playing nicely in this film making a documentary about how the airplanes changed the world it was really important to go out and shoot the real world so as you can see this is a complete editing walkthrough for beginners using davinci resolve remember to subscribe and i will see you in the next video thank you very much